Hi, Lyric Services. Trisha Warner here with your weekly Pilates work. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a total body stretch and strengthen with a focus on rotation. So there's many joints in our body that perform the rotational movement and um, and it's very functional and uh, often we don't move fully into rotation and when we start lacking rotation, we can become um, an increased risk of injury. So we're gonna do rotation of our shoulder, we're gonna do rotation of our spine, all in this plane of motion, rotation of the hips. So um, we're gonna focus on those main um, rotational motions and we're gonna get started in sitting. I want you to do a little bit of a self-assessment. Oh, for today's workout, you're just gonna need your band and a can of soup, water bottle, or a uh, one to two pound weight will be fine. All right, so we're gonna start in crisscross sitting. If you cannot sit in crisscross, uh, if you're close, then I would suggest you sit on yoga blocks. Oh, I'm not gonna wear a ball. Yoga bo blocks like this kind of sat next to each other or something like that. Go to your bookshelf and grab some, grab a big giant book and see if you can get into crisscross. If you're still like, yeah, no, that's not gonna happen, then um, you can sit with your legs out in diamond might be a good option, or you can even sit in a chair if that's not gonna work. So I want you to um, just take note of where you are on your mat because we're gonna do a little bit of an assessment here. So your arms are out on a diagonal. They're not straight out to the side, they're not in front, they're kind of on this slight forward diagonal motion. And I just want you to take a little assessment of your spine rotation. So we're going to just turn your body to one side and your arms don't move. So your arms are, you know, concreted into this position. We're gonna rotate to one direction. And then I want you to turn, when you, when you stop, you stop, don't force it. When you stop, you stop. And then turn your head and look at where your thumb is in relation to whatever is behind it. So I'm seeing my door frame here. So my thumb is about at my door frame. That's just my starting point. And uh, we're gonna look at that again towards the end. And then do the same thing to the other side. Rotate, make sure nothing's blocking you like a fireplace here. And find that landmark where you feel like your rotation is. And then come back to center and then rest your arms down. So try to remember where you are and where your rotation was as we go along. So um, we're gonna come into, I call it beach lounging position, but you're not really lounging, you're active. So your fingertips are pointing away, arms are straight, shoulders are open, feet are wide apart and knees are bent. We're gonna take our hips into some internal and external rotation. So we're actually active here, so make sure that your abs are engaged. We're gonna move our knees over to one side of your body till you feel a gentle stretch, probably in the one going in rather than the one going out, but that's person body specific. Um, and then you're gonna go over to the other way. Now take note not to lift that hip up at all. So I'm exaggerating. Feel that sits bone or your rear end on the mat and don't lift it. Moving purely from your hips, not moving your back. So we're going side to side and we're just getting a little bit of hip rotation in here. So this is a good place to start and finding a little motion here. Good, a couple more. And great, now we're gonna bring our feet hip width apart and straighten one leg out. Pull that belly button in to support your back you're gonna lift the leg up and you're gonna make a little rainbow with it over to the side and a little rainbow back over. So you're going up and over two and back three. We're doing eight, four, five, feeling that hip flexor right, six, two more you're supposed to, and eight. Good job, pause here, bend the knee in. Stretch the other leg out, same thing, eight times. If your arms get tired, you can move them in a little bit, um, or you can bend them, all right? Oh, I kind of like that variation, good. And just don't shrug them up to your ears. Press those shoulders down, one, two, three. Try to keep the rest of your body nice and still, five, six, seven, and eight, that's it. Good, both legs out straight. Come on up to sitting. See where you are in this position. Can you get up? I'm waddling back and forth to see if I can find my sits bones.
to see if I can sit up straight. You're gonna get a nice stretch through the hamstrings. See if you can get here, just take note of it. And now we're gonna come onto our back with our band. So go ahead and meet me down on the mat. Come down carefully so that we're gonna be in a nice long spine position. So it's impossible to find spine rotation if your vertebrae are compressed at all. So it's a, it's a prerequisite to find spine elongation before we add another element of movement, which is in this case today, focusing on rotation. So from here, I want you to think about your spine being gently pulled from the top of your head and your tailbone. You know, you can even kind of wiggle your pelvis a little bit to see if you can unwind and find a little more length here. So find that energetic kind of tug of war of your tailbone on the top of your head. Find every millimeter of length. And then we're gonna exhale, bring our low back down to the mat. Inhale, rock it forward, find the space. And exhale, rock back. Inhale, rock forward. And exhale and inhale, keep going back and forth. It should feel good. Two more. So I said we're gonna focus on rotation today, but like always, we will address everything we need, okay? It'll be a concise program here for you. Spine is now nice and long and stiff. We're gonna keep that neutral spine. You're gonna exhale as you press into your feet, lifting your hips up into a bridge. Inhale, come back down. To make it a little more challenging, let's take the arms out of it, lift the hips up, all the weights going to your feet and your shoulder blades as you lift and lower. Good, three, we're doing 10, four, five, six, seven, Eight, two more. Great job, come down. Bring one knee into your chest, pull it all the way in. Stretch the other leg out. This ankle's gonna circle and rotate in one direction. Couple times, just moving that ankle around and switch and go the other way. Good, and then Grab behind the thigh and straighten the leg up five times. One, we're trying to find a little length in that hamstring too. If you can't do that, lift your head and shoulders up because your leg may be down here. Three, four, and five. Good, put that foot down, switch to the other leg. Grab it up, pull it in nice and close to your chest. Give it a good squeeze and circle. The ankle. And circle the other way. Great, grab behind the knee, stretch the leg up five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Bend the knee, put the foot down. We're gonna separate our feet nice and wide. We're coming back to that hip rotation, but we're adding lower back rotation this time, so we're building on it. Arms are out in a T, let's go palms up, and then we're gonna rotate palms down and we'll get a little bit of forearm and shoulder rotation at, at the same time. So go ahead and go ahead and tip your knees over to one side, slowly control it. Let your, the weight of your knees kind of lift that back hip up. Now you can let that hip come up and get into that low back a little, as long as it feels good. Like always, it should be a, a pleasant stretching sensation, no pain. And then bring the knees back up. We're gonna go over to the other side. Good. Reaching those arms long, finding a sense of length through the front of the chest. And bring the knees back up. Now let's rotate palms down, same thing. You may feel a little tension in your forearms. Um, that is not uncommon to hold some tension in the forearms when we um, do a lot of computer use and driving and texting. I feel a good stretch through my forms, but it's a good stretch. It's a sensation of, of pulling and, and a little bit of heat, but not in a bad way. Even a little numbness is okay with this. Let's go one more back and forth. 
Good, let's open the palms back up and bring them into the V position for the last one each side. And last one here. Good, bring your knees back up, bring your feet in closer together, and we're gonna turn onto our side. So come all the way over. We're gonna be up on our elbow today. And you're gonna grab your one pound weight. We're coming into our rotator cuff. All right, the rotator of the shoulder. But first, make sure you're pressing your elbow into the floor and lifting your rib cage. We're not down here chilling, we're working. So pull your rib cage away, pull that belly in a little bit. Arm is here in about a 90 degree bend. We're gonna rotate up with that weight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10, great job. Straighten the arm up. You're gonna lift it all the way up and over, getting a nice full shoulder stretch all the way down, all the way up. Let the weight kind of pull you into lengthening that lat. And we'll do two more. And last one. Great job, put the weight down. Straighten the top leg out. Are you still lifting your rib cage? You need to be, lift the leg up one, two, Three, four, five. I'm giving you a break after this, I promise. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bend the leg, come all the way down onto your side. Bend your elbow, put it under your head, get nice and comfy, relax. Top arm is gonna extend out in front of you. We're coming into our book opening stretch. You all know this. If you've been doing these workouts with me, this is a must. All right, we're gonna to inhale to prepare length through the spine. That's the prerequisite. Remember before rotation, find height. And then as you exhale, open your arm up to the ceiling, rotating through the shoulders. Now the arm is an extension of your collarbone, so don't let it flop to the floor. Think about moving your shoulder blade to the floor to open up the chest and rotate through the spine. Inhale in the stretch, exhale, come back. I like to think of my spine as a spiral staircase in this instance. So it's twisting, but it's also lengthening and going up. Exhale, open. Find the stretch as you inhale. Exhale, come all the way back. You may feel this stretch in the front of your shoulder. You may feel this in your back. Either way, you're gonna be gaining range of motion wherever you're tight. This will address both restrictions. Inhale in the stretch, exhale, come all the way back. Perfect, we're gonna to switch to our other side, so spin around or flip over if you're confident with that. Elbow is under the shoulder, right? Look down, make sure it's under the shoulder. Rib cage lifting away, hand is here. We're gonna start with our weight, elbows bent at 90 degrees. Working that, that rib cage away from the floor, we're gonna rotate up and down, lift two. We're gonna do 10 here, so we're nice and even. And five, six, your rotator cuff will thank you. And you don't need a lot of weight for the rotator cuff. It's a very small muscle group. It's not like a biceps or a quad. So just a little bit of weight and a little bit of attention goes a long way with this muscle group. Lift up and over and down and two. It's one of those more weight isn't always better. Three, just enough to get the work done. Four, last one. Breathing into it, fantastic. Put the weight down, bring your hand to your hip. Check your rib cage, pull it away from the mat and stretch the top leg out nice and long. Pulling the belly button in so that the back isn't moving, lift the leg up and down 10 times. And two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. Bend the knee. Come all the way down. Bring the bottom hand under your head and let the weight of your head relax and take any tension out of your neck. Top arm is going to extend out in front of you. You're going to take an inhale and find what? That's right, length. 
Exhale as you open the arm up, rotating the shoulders, bringing that shoulder blade towards the floor, not the hand, the hand will follow. Inhale in the stretch. Exhale, come all the way back. If you just let the hand you know, flop back and opening, you're just getting a stretch in the shoulder. I want this to be a full rotational spine stretch. Exhale as you open. Keep also keeping the knees and hips stacked. So we're getting a nice isolated spine rotation. And then coming on back. Last one here. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, open. Inhale in the stretch. Exhale, close. Fantastic. We're coming into quadruped. On all fours like a baby crawls. Tuck your toes under. Hands are right under your shoulders. Long spine. We're moving into flexion and extension now. Um, for the health of our spine, we need to move it in every direction. So we're doing a little more rotation today, but we're going to be hitting um, every direction here. Exhale, tuck your tailbone. This is a quick, easy way to get it. Inhale, arch. Lifting the heart. Exhale, thinking about tucking the tailbone and rounding the low back. Inhale, lifting the heart and lifting the upper spine without dumping into the low back. Two more. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Okay, we can check those off. Bend your elbows, come down to your triceps. Let's untuck the toes and get a little stretch in the top of the feet. Triceps press, leaning forward to really work the muscles, leaning back if it's too hard. So start somewhere in the middle here, and you're gonna lift your elbows up and lower down. Lower, don't drop. Control that descent. That's where the real work happens, in that eccentric phase of the exercise, the lowering. It's not a bench press that gets you stronger. It's returning from the bench press that gets you stronger. So three more. So don't miss that, that phase. Two more. And the last one. I feel like I could have leaned forward a little bit more, but next time. All right. Uh, feet are flat. Sit back into your little child's pose. Again, finding length. If it's available, you can lower your forehead down to the floor and take a little stretch here. And breathe. Excellent. All right, we're gonna come right onto our stomach and get ourselves in every position. Uh, up on your elbows, your lowest rib is down on the mat. We're just gonna do a little hamstring activation here. So point the feet. Shoulders away from your ears. Nice long spine. Your gaze should be kind of near the front edge of your mat. You're not looking forward. Once you see what I'm doing, get your neck in good alignment and you're bending both knees up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. Stop there. We're coming up into sitting. Now, I'd like you to try sitting in a Z-sit position, which is like this. But if that doesn't work, you can come back up onto your blocks again. And um, you can sit on your blocks in a Z-sit position. Yeah, that works. Or uh, because it could be a lot of torque on the knees if you don't have enough rotation in the hips. So, I mean, we kind of prepared a little bit with the hip rotation, but don't force this. Uh, if you can't do it on the yoga blocks, then um, you can sit in a chair and just kind of put your feet in this direction. Uh, so see what works for you. If you can sit in Z-sit, this is where we're gonna try to be. And we're gonna face the front knee, walk your hands on either side of your knee and lower your chest down towards your knee. So we're getting a nice stretch in the back of that hip. Move your hands to wherever you feel like they need to go to feel uh, so, like they're supporting you. Find that stretch, breathe into it. If you need to go all the way down, go all the way down. And then coming back up. Whatever knee is forward, you're gonna put that hand behind your hip. The other hand is out in front. We're lifting our hips. Maybe if I go from the side, you can see better. The hand is behind you. You're gonna lift your hips up, pushing them forward, coming into a nice extension stretch. 
reach that arm back, push your hips forward to open the hip flexors, come back down. Do one more time, lift. Don't do anything that doesn't look like it would be good for your body. Pause here, switch to the other side. Set yourself up well. So if you need the, you know what else you could put underneath you is a big fluffy beach towel or a quilt. Some, the higher you lift yourself up, the more, um, the, the easier it will be to get in this position. One hand on either side of your knee, walk yourself down. Coming down into that forward stretch, feel it, find it, breathe into it. One more breath. And then coming back up. Whatever knee is forward, put that hand behind your hip. Other arm is out in front. Lift your hips up, pressing into that back hand. Push your hips forward as you reach the arm up behind you. Feel that nice length through that whole side of your body. And then come back down. And again, lift up. And down. Fantastic. We're going to come back to crisscross. See if this is any easier than when we started. Maybe it is. Um, but if not, stay on your blanket, towel, or blocks, whatever you got. Lateral flexion. Inhale, find the length. I'm feeling taller already. I hope you are too. Exhale, come up and over into a side bend. And inhale, come up. Oh, other side. This way. So now we've done them all. We've done flexion, extension, rotation, lateral flexion. So this checks all the boxes for spine mobility. So after completing this workout, you will have done a wonderful thing for the health and longevity of your spine. Perfect. All right, pause here. We're gonna come into a little hamstring stretch. More than a little hamstring stretch. We're gonna come into proposal kneeling. So one knee is forward. If this position doesn't work for you, stretch your hamstring in, in whatever way you know how. We've done it probably 12 different ways in these workouts. If you know of one, you know, you can sit like this. You could go back down to the, the floor, bring your leg up. Um, but I wanted to show you a little bit more of an aggressive stretch here. Uh, if you have yoga blocks, use them for this one. You're going to lean forward and find a little stretch in the front of the back hip. And then you're going to lean back, bring your hands to either side of your foot. The yoga blocks help. And see if you can move the front leg towards a straighter position. You don't have to straighten your leg but you're moving it towards, I'm gonna move my hand so you can see, towards a straighter position. Tailbone is sticking out. Feel the length down the back of that hamstring. You got it, right? I like to keep my foot flat to get a nice stretch down the front of my shin here too. That anterior tibialis muscle. Ooh, that's good. Lean forward, come out of it, and come back to it. I like to keep my hands down for this part. Second time is better, right? Should we do one more? I think so. We got all the way here. Let's go forward and back. All right, switch legs. Bring the other leg forward and one hand to either side. You could do it in this position as well, but if you have, um, or if you can reach the floor, that works too. You're gonna bend the front knee, come into that lunge stretch, get the stretch in the front of the back leg. Yoga blocks are on either side of your ankles and then stretch and sit back, stick your tailbone out as you move the leg towards a straighter position. Again, it doesn't have to go straight. We're gonna do three like we did on the other side. Sit back into it. Oh, that feels so good. Last one, this is gonna help us with our next exercise. So this is actually a preparation stretch for our roll down. All right, come on out of that position. Stick your blocks aside if you have them. Grab your long TheraBand. Sit down near the front of your mat. You want to make sure you have room to lay down. Lie down. <laughs> Band around the bottoms of your feet. Sitting up nice and tall. So now this should be better than the last time we did it. Remember we kind of came here and we sat on our sits bones and it felt pretty tight and it was kind of hard to sit up. Maybe now you can sit up a little bit more after the hamstring stretching. Maybe, I hope. Well, um, you need to kind of identify that in your own body. And it takes, you know, a significant amount of observation skills to find that in your body. So 
but practice helps. So when I point things out, like notice how this feels or um, notice where you are in space, the more you do that, the easier it gets. So keep practicing. Sitting up nice and tall, you're holding the band down near where your knees are. You can bend your knees if your hamstrings are tight. So uh, that's an option. Uh, you, and if roll down is super hard for you, the closer you hold it to your feet, the more assistance and the easier it will become. Inhale nice and tall. Exhale, tuck your tailbone, round down through your back. Take the band with you. It's supporting you as you roll down to the floor one vertebrae at a time. Coming nice to flat. Inhale here. Exhale, lift your head. Round your shoulders, lifting up, rolling through your back till you're sitting up nice and tall again. Great job. Inhale here. Exhale, tuck and roll. Inhale down. Exhale, lift and roll back up. Last one here. It's powerful. We don't have to do a lot of them. You can do more after we're done if you'd like, or pause the video and do a few more if you'd like. And coming all the way back up. We're going to crisscross the bands. You're going to bend your knees. Keeping your back nice and still, we're leaning back and we're rowing. Both arms are pulling back. Two, getting those shoulder blades together. Three, four, five. Pull the belly in. Six, it's work for that. Seven, last one. Eight, uncross the bands. Bicep curls. Arms are going to hold it out kind of uh, high. And we're going to round our back for this one. So you're going to kind of tuck your tailbone, roll down through your back a little. Like you're halfway in that roll down. And bicep curl one. Two, I told you we'd get to everything. Three, four, five, six, two more, and eight. Good, come up nice and tall. All right, grab that one pound weight, hold it in front of you. We're gonna come into a little oblique work. So again, rolling down, keeping the length as you roll down, bend the knees, take that weight, go side to side, and two, three, we're doing eight, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. And you can put the weight down. All right. I'm going to quick check the time because I didn't put my watch on. Oh, perfect. Very good. All right. We're going to come to our recheck. So coming into crisscross applesauce, see where you are now compared to where we were when we started, right? Let's do a little head rotation too. Our next rotate, so let's go ahead and go side to side a few times. Go back to your first sitting position where we initially started and just kind of assess, make sure, like I think I was like around here, okay? All right, now just a couple shoulder rolls. Loosen that up. <sighs> Great, find that length, nice and tall. Drive your sits bones into the floor, lift the top of your head away from that. Arms are out in that nice starting position. Exhale as you rotate. Now gaze at your thumb and see where it is and compared to where it was before. I'll show you where mine was before. I was here. My thumb was right on the frame of the door. Now I can go to here. So I found a significant amount of range of motion, which is great. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rotate. I'm a little blocked by the fireplace here. My measurement was here the last time, and now I'm here. So maybe you've noticed that on yourself as well. Uh, and if you didn't, that doesn't mean that you weren't successful. It just means you need to practice a little more. You may have restrictions that are a little bit more solidified, not as flexible. Um, sometimes the if you haven't moved a lot, I stretch every day, so my, my mobility comes kind of quickly because I practice a lot. Um, if you haven't moved this way very much, your tissues may be a little bit more restricted, a little more dehydrated, and they may just take a little bit more uh, time and practice to hydrate and lengthen. So drink water, stretch, do this program again. Um, I hope you guys have a great practice and stick with it. I'll see you next week with a new program. Bye.